All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the aluminum boat versus the plastic boat, all right? Which is the better boat? Let's find out. All right, for some of you that's watching, this is a no-brainer. Obviously, some of you guys think the aluminum boat is the better boat, which in some cases it may be. But there's a few of you out there that's actually curious about what's the difference between a plastic and aluminum boat. What are the pros and cons? We're gonna get to it in this video. I'll tell you everything from the back of the boat to the bow of the boat. At the end of the day, you will decide which is the better boat. First thing we're gonna go over is material. Obviously, aluminum versus plastic, all right? So obviously, aluminum is a lot different than plastic, for one. One is a little sturdier than the other one, okay? All right, now if you notice, it's, I can move it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, 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 it's flexible. It's kinda not a good thing, you know? Um, especially if you're leaning on the side of the boat or whatever. I mean, it's plastic, all right? It's a little cheaper, and it's a little flimsier, especially when you get in there, we actually stand it on the platform. It's not wood or anything under there, it's just hard plastic, so you're gonna feel a little bit of a bend uh, on the surface. Aluminum, all right? Mm, mm, mm. It ain't going nowhere. Aluminum is obviously harder, it's a lot sturdier, so when you're in the water, um, you hit something, a stump or whatever like that, I mean, you don't want to hit a stump at all but if you do it's not going to damage you too much unlike the plastic is going to scratch up really bad uh a lot of things can happen okay i would go with the uh, aluminum for sturdiness also i might as well get this out the way right now just in case any of y'all were planning on putting a motor if you watch some of my videos you'll know that i put a motor on the back of the sun dolphin the plastic one um but there is one problem all right just because it's plastic all right putting a lot of weight on the transom right here okay i mean for the most part it is sturdy but over time that transom uh with that motor just pushing the boat it's gonna mess up this transom really bad all right as you can see i already started getting in this john boat and started using it um but right here i mean we have aluminum man it's i mean it's gonna be pretty hard to damage that uh it's real sturdy it's gonna hold up way better than the transom on the um than the plastic boat. Next thing we're gonna talk about is weight, all right? Which boat is heavier? Surprisingly, y'all won't believe this, but the plastic boat is a tad bit heavier than the John boat, all right? You're looking at the plastic boat at 110 pounds and the aluminum boat is 105 pounds. Now, it's not a big difference. I dragged both of these boats into my truck. Feels about the same, all right? So usually you would think the aluminum boat is a lot heavier when it's really not, all right? The Sun Dolphin plastic John boat is i want to say 12 foot and it is 55 i think i think it's 52 or 55 inches wide okay so it's a lot wider than the aluminum which is a 12 36 all right so it's a little narrower which is not bad treads through water a lot better than the plastic boat which is a good thing now let's get into weight capacity all right now with weight capacity it just varies i've been in both of these boats with another person, even some that are bigger than me. So that goes to show you, I can really judge the weight capacity on these boats, all right? So looking at the plastic boat, the weight capacity is 532 pounds. Believe it or not, I believe the weight capacity is that high because of what's actually inside the plastic John boat, all right? We're not just looking at a hollow plastic boat, all right? That boat is actually filled with some type of foam, has to be, all right? So that helps it kind of float a little bit more get the stability going also the seats are not just plastic all right there's a little plywood uh layer right under the seat so it hardens up a little bit more you can actually stand on it and everything so uh the design of that boat is actually pretty good all right they're both pretty stable with two people up in there like i said with both boats you just have to watch your balance i mean that's with any boat so i mean you think about it you're only dealing with a 12 foot length boat all right the longer the boat, the better stability. Given that one has foam, 
it's a little bit wider i would say that one just a tad bit on stability just a little bit now we're going to talk about speed all right this may or may not pertain to some of you watching uh unless you're putting a motor on there but some of you might just stick with a trolling motor you know how fast it'll go with a 30 or 40 or 50 pound thrust trolling motor but for some of you that's going to put like a horsepower motor a three a four a six 6.5 seven i will tell you this and this is what i had the most trouble with with this john boat all right the reason why i got aluminum boat in the first place is because of this reason with the plastic boats the hulls on the boat are very different okay on the plastic boat i honestly think that was not made for any type of motor of any horsepower it was just a boat to be trolling all right it is a pond boat not a saltwater marsh runner or anything like that or a bayou skipper whatever the hell you want to call it i think that boat was specifically designed for just slow rolling in some ponds so what that means is the hull of the boat is a little bit different it's not as narrow as you want it to be it's kind of like just a up front you know so what i mean by that is um if you're trading water i mean if you're going about 10 miles an hour in that boat if you have anything that's weighing down on the front of the boat it's going to catch the front of it all right the water is going to catch it it's going to stop that motor from getting on plane and that's one thing i really had a problem with, with that boat now with the john boat it was a different story all right getting on plane was easy because of the hull of the boat it don't catch that water it really gets up on plane it's more narrow it treads water a lot better that's why I went with the John boat. As far as me going in the marsh, the bayous, places that I normally fish, even in shallow water, it did the job. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is my overall preference of both boats. Which one do I think is better? In my opinion, they both are good boats. Down the line, whatever boat you pick out of these two are any plastic boat, any aluminum boat. I mean, you're going to have fun with it. Just, you have to pick your poison. One thing I like about the plastic boat is the features this right here is a transom mount a bow transom mount for a trolling motor all right this thing don't got one that's one feature i really like about the plastic john boat it already comes with a built-in sort of uh transom mount for the front of the boat this one you have to kind of set up a transom mount i guess with some two by four and kind of you know do some drilling i don't know i have to figure out how to do that and for the most part if you can look inside this boat you can see cup holders uh little side shelves or whatever you can stick your bait store your bait and all that kind of stuff the cleats i actually installed myself it's a lot i need to learn about this aluminum boat uh i just got it not too long ago already in love with it um for the most part it gets me where i need to go it's a lot faster treads in shallow water hell of a lot better than the plastic boat it's a little bit more narrow which i actually rather the space but at the same time still get what i need in this boat still have another person in this boat and get me where i need to go just like the plastic boat so i mean it's just a win-win you know also another main factor uh which is a very big problem with the uh, uh, plastic boat is the water getting in the boats and i'm actually going to show you a clip that i made before I filmed this video uh, when it rained yesterday, the day before yesterday, and the day before that, and it filled up both of these boats. Actually, it only filled up one boat, and this is the reason why. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. Look at that. It rained all last night, and the night before that, and the night before that, and this boat is dry. It's a drain plug right there. Look at this boat. Even if I took the drain, uh, drain plug out of this one, it would still be full right here and right here. That'd be empty, but that'd be full, that'd be full. So that is the difference between this boat and this boat. This boat has a way for the water from the front and the middle to make its way to the back to lead out that drain plug. This boat does not. Whatever water is right here and right here is gonna stay right there until you flip it over but it can't come out this back part because that's the only drain plug. There's no way for the water to get uh, out of the boat. All right, you guys, I am guilty. I'm not always thinking my videos through. I just kind of do them at last minute. I've been trying to do this video for a very long time, but the weather, the wind, the rain, all that was just kind of stopping me from just coming out of my backyard and just doing this little review, okay? I know there's stuff I missed. That's why it's up to you guys, if you don't mind, in the comments below, any questions, concerns, 
something that I missed or anything that you think the people might know, write it down in the comments below and uh, I'll respond to it. I'll probably do an upcoming video later on, discuss that topic because I know there's a lot of stuff that I missed. All in all, thank you guys for watching. Remember, comment down below if I missed anything. I really hope you guys enjoy this review. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. I realize you guys love the John Boat videos. For all you guys that have been watching my channel, yes, I still have the kayak. Have I gotten it since then? Absolutely not. <laughs> but I still have it. Who knows? I might do a kayak tournament here or there. I don't know. But for now, I'm a John Boat guy. It gets me in spots that kayaks can't reach and big boats can't get into because it's too shallow. So I'm trying to find those in-between spots see if I can get on some really good fishing. So if you're thinking about buying a John Boat, purchasing a John Boat, uh, whichever one you get, like I said, pick your poison. I told you all the pros and cons. I told you some of the facts. I told you some opinions. You can go by that. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thank you guys for watching.